Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What do I have for you today? Today I'm going to attempt to make the Taco Bell grilled cheese burrito at home. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so for my meat today I'm going with some uh, shaved beef steak and also a little fajita mix. I'm going to throw these down. Got a feeling that I'm going to cook at different, different times here, so. And use whatever meat you want. Use chicken if you want. This is mainly just about the cheese that you use. That's good. I'm going to add some onions to the mix there. Yeah. Something like so. Alright, well I figured I'd bring it back for this here. So all we're doing is you can put this in a pan if you want. I'm just going with some uh, carne asada season. I'm not going to lie, that came out a lot heavier than I thought with some water. I'm just going to mix this up. All we good. Alright, well let's give these guys a shot. So I'm going to start with some sour cream. And again, put whatever you want in these. There's no right way or wrong way. A little bit of Spanish rice. Put this up off camera to save you a little time. We got some beef, of course. Call it grilled cheese burrito because I'm a little heavy on the cheese. Ooh, that is still hot. A little warm, I guess. Some nacho cheese. Then these little tricolor, they have the red ones in there. These little tricolor tortillas. Alright, now here's where the fun begins. You guys see, I'm not very handy with this type of stuff, but we're going to try. So watch the video on it. Fold the edges. You do a little tuck. As the scratchers say, I'll take it. Yeah, right, I'll just fast forward through the rest of these and we'll get them back on the Blackstone. Alright, so bring it back over to the grill here. Just a little bit of oil. And for those of you who saw my uh, cheese skirt burger attempt, I think what I did on that one is I cooked it uh, way too hot. So I'm on low right now. I'm just trying to... So we're just trying to seal it up a little bit, I do believe. I'm just going to put some cheese on it, of course, or else it would be a grilled cheese. I'm not exactly sure how they do it. They heat it up, keep it hot. What I'm going to do is I'm going heavier than I should with cheese, of course. So that's just what I'm going to do here. And then we're going to dome them. 
So, we'll come back when I have something to show you. Alright, let's take a look. Time for the reveal. Yeah, not bad. I think I can, we can do it better though. What do you think? All right, let's check it out. So, there she is. Already cut into it. There's my inside. Doesn't look bad. I'm thinking I'm missing something. How they get the cheese on the top. I'm sure they run through some type of a broiler, pizza oven, something like that with some heat on the top. Let's take a bite. Tastes great. I like it. The kids like it. I don't know what to say. This is my version of it. Hey, if anybody knows how to make a real one, drop that in the comments for me. But if you like that video, make sure you smash that like. I'll put a subscribe icon for you. Right about there. Another video. Right about there. Hey, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.